Today, I figured we'd do a quick one where we talk about my votes for the Balance Council. I'm going to be straight up with you guys in the beginning. I didn't play that much this season, so if I'm off on any of these, let me know. I played mostly the first two weeks of the season, and then I was kind of busy, <laughs> so I didn't play too much the last couple of weeks. So if the meta changed, that's my bad. But let's take a look at what I think we will be uh, would be nice for the game here. So let's start off with Alula at the three at the buff provision or not provision the power buff. Uh, Alula is one of my favorite cards. It doesn't get to see a lot of play. I really wish Alula Warrior was a thing instead of like raid warriors, just as an alternative way to make the warriors work. The biggest problem with her is that if you're trying to make a deck based on Alula, and they kill her, you're kind of in a problem. Like, a bad spot. Right, so I think giving her an extra power, making her 7 a little stickier, would make that a lot more viable. Just make a deck with her. Because she is a very cool card, and I wish there were other ways to play, like, Skellige control with damage instead of just raids. Then we have Melina. And yeah, we went to the, uh, this time, I did look at the Balance Council poll on my favorite website of all time, full of the most intelligent people I've ever seen, named Reddit. And, yeah, I went there and take, took a look this time since you guys suggested it. And we're going a couple of the ideas there because they weren't... They're pretty interesting. So, Melina, I agree. Melina should be buffed. Um, movement, Scoia'tael, have not seen in a long time. I wanted to make an engine movement Scoia'tael deck, and having her at 6 for 6 would at least make her pretty consistent to move your guys and make them actually want to consider killing her or not. The 5 power, they don't care. There's like, whatever, kill her. But at 6, they might actually commit more to getting rid of her or stopping her ability. And I think that's pretty cool. And then lastly, Imperial Diviner. This one I really think should have been buffed a long time ago. Um, Assimilate's, Assimilate is not a deck I like. But it can be fun. And Imperial Diviner like never, ever sees play. And I kind of think that uh, it would be good for Nilfgaard to have this as a Purify option. It should, it should be a 5 for 5. I don't know why it isn't. Uh, now going on to the power nerfs. Uh, this is, from my experience, at least the things I run into the most on the ladder. By far the most is Precision Strike, Ren Free Scoia'tael, which I really don't like. And the second most common one is the Double Madoc Bombs. It seems to make up a large majority of my games. At least it did most of the season. And like I said, didn't play that much the past couple weeks. So, I think we kind of have to nerf Chariot. Like, Chariot, I think, is just a little bit too good for what it does. You play it, sure it gives you the Dwarves. You can still play it, get the Dwarves plays for six instead of seven um making the ranged one which the dwarf decks really like for spawning this tokens from three to two it doesn't make that much difference a four pretty much dies to every removal anyway at three it still kind of dies to everything it doesn't make that much difference the only it really matters against is it's own is the uh mirror match where they hit it with the uh skirmisher but i think that this is fine just go make this go down to two that'd be pretty good reasonable nerf for that deck and if you play a melee it still gets the extra armor right so it's still six with three armor so if you're playing a melee it's still just going to give you engine value but it doesn't come down for quite as many points since the engine value of this armor really came into play more so as time came on after its release then we have the Temerian infantry actually this should, i'm swap these two next we have sapper double monoc bombs is super annoying uh sapper just making this one instead of two power is actually sort of a it's actually actually a really big nerf to the deck Kind of. Because they make a bunch of copies, but the copies from Slave Driver are one power anyway. It doesn't affect those. It only affects the sappers from the hand. And a base copy you make off of Ramon if you're playing Ramon, which I don't think I've seen much of. So, just a little, make these a little smaller. It makes them a little easier to kill off. Uh, four to three doesn't make much difference. Mostly it's just about having them get a little less board presence when they're playing these. Because it's a little annoying when they just spam out sappers and get a bunch of board presence while killing your stuff. Lastly, Temerian Infantry. I, I kind of think this needs a provision nerf, but those are already filled up, so I put it in the power nerf instead, but either one's good with me. But yeah, this thing just comes down for a ton of points. Like it, I like the change I got to rely on the leader, but the thing is it just comes down as a like plus a 13 for 5. They just play it in like Stockpile or something, or Inspired Zeal comes down for like... I play Rad of it, it comes down for an 8 for 5, or not 8, plus 8, so 11 for 5. It's just a little, it's just too good point slam wise. So I think this should probably get a nerf. Um, reasonably, it probably should be in provision nerfs, but I ran out of space there, so I put it here. That's what this comes down to. 
Speaking of the provision nerfs, we have Renfree. Yeah, there's just so many Renfree decks. Every Scoia'tael deck I play is a Renfree deck. If this changed in the past week or two, I apologize. But every Scoia'tael deck, I played a few games. It's not like I stopped playing the game completely, but it still ran to these. It's like the only thing, which is why I didn't make any videos. Um, yeah, so on top of being busy, obviously, but it was not motivating me to make anything. So yeah, Renfree is just in everything. All Scoia'tael decks are Scoia'tael decks are Renfree. Renfree is like the best way to play uh, Skellige. Renfree is like the best way to. It, it just seems like it's the best way to play everything. <laughs> And I think that's not great. So I think she should be more expensive. She gets insane value. The carryover of an extra leader is worth way more than the value of the leader itself. Lets you play your leader early. Lets you overcommit round one without punishment. And it's just super good. So I think she should probably be uh, more expensive. So you get more expensive. Letho Kingslayer. Like I said, double Madoc Bomb. And the Precision Strike Scoitel are what I run to the most. And seem to be the best. I'm um, just making this guy more expensive. I think would be good. You could make him weaker, but I don't like that because it doesn't really do much. Just because it's one less point at the end of each round, whereas I think making them spend an extra provision in the deck would be probably a better solution. I did see when I was looking up what other people were thinking of nerfing Phoenix. I don't like nerfing Phoenix because Phoenix really only sees play in this deck, and I want to see Phoenix tried out in more in other decks, whereas... It's obviously not Phoenix being a problem. It's also not really Madoc being a problem, right? Because there's a bunch of other Madoc decks that aren't super oppressive. It's just the second Madoc that's the problem. So I think Letho Kingslayer is the one that deserves the nerf here. And then we have Slave. Like, Slave Driver should just be six provisions. I, I don't know if I have to explain this. <laughs> like Slave Driver should be a six provision card, right? Like what's Reverse Scout? Like six. Yeah, there he is. This should be six and this should be six i don't know why we uh keep not doing that but if it doesn't get changed this time it's the last time putting it on here let's just say that but this is also a hit to the uh madoc deck getting a lot of hits but it's, it's actually pretty good and then lastly let's go to the buffs these are the more this is I, I don't like talking about the nerfs like i really like, like talking about the buffs but we got count rubens treasure going Minus one provision. This card is way, way worse than Novigrad. It has basically the same provisions. That should not be the case. This, this needs to be cheaper. I really think this is an interesting card. And if it's actually good, like if this is good, maybe you have an argument to finally make a deck with um, the In Search of Forgotten Treasure stuff. Because that's always fun. Then we have Fair Cart. No one plays Fair Cart. It's a thinning card. It helps Spying. Spying is a fun archetype. It's a fun deck to play that just isn't very good. Fair cart giving you more spying would be pretty nice if that was a buff that the deck got. And then lastly, we got Land of a Thousand Fables. Uh, this card is just really cool, and it only ever gets played to abuse stuff with Sihil. Because if your Sihil gets bricked, you can transform it into something else. So it's only ever played there, and I kind of think this deserves to be cheaper. At 9, it would maybe get to see play, well, probably would see play with Golden Necker decks, because you can find your Golden Necker, then transform something with it if you want to. And I like that. I like just seeing this card have options. And Golden Necker, although it's not the most fun and interactive deck people enjoy playing against, I think just as an option for that, this would be good. And just as another way to find special cards for special Reliant decks, be a little cheaper. I like this. So anyway, that's my balance council, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Am I off on the meta? Am I wrong about what's the best decks? <laughs> and do you think I should uh, stop nerfing all these cards? But let me know what you guys think. I really, would really love to see Alula and these ones go through up here. And these ones as well. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. We'll see you next time. That'll be it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. And you can check out some more videos over here. And thanks for watching.